Church of Scientology is an operation run by lawyers. I wonder how many of you saw Tony Ortega's blog the other day where there are new contracts to be signed called non-disparagement contracts. <laughs> One has heard of non-disclosure which can be normal in businesses. Businesses don't want Pepsi-Cola imitating Coca-Cola. Non-disclosure on the recipe. Businesses. But this church goes one level higher than non-disclosure to non-disparagement. You can't say anything bad about us. Well, he was a Church of Scientology mastermind, the mouthpiece for the cult's global operations, one of the inner circle. But now he's left and speaking for the first time about how the church works. It's explosive stuff and the power brokers of Scientology want to silence him. Tonight, Brian Seymour continues his investigation with this world exclusive report. OK, here's where it gets really weird. Oh, I know he's evil. He's definitely evil. This gentleman's been hired by a law firm acting for Scientology to film these people. Is that okay? Uh, no, it's not. No, listen to me! You are not there! At the beginning of that interview! I certainly make clear to John Sweeney and the people at, at the BBC and Panorama what really happened. We want you to know who we are and what we stand for. How close is he with Tom Cruise? Extremely close. How close? Unnaturally extremely close. Do you think it's enforceable? I talked to, I ran it by three sets of lawyers, and I believe it's hogwash. That you can't say anything about what you actually experienced, even criminal? You're supposed to clamp it down and hide it? Tonight, former church insiders paint a much different picture. Allegations of beatings and humiliations carried out by the leader of the Church of Scientology and others. Allegations of a culture of violence within the top levels of the church. Allegations the church adamantly denies. In fact, the church says those making these charges are themselves the abusers, demoted and removed because of their violence. Well, tonight and every night this week, what our investigation uncovered, what the accusers say and what the church has to say about it all. All of it out on the table so you can decide for yourself who's lying and who is telling the truth. Non-disparagement contract makes every staff member feel they can never ever say anything negative about what happened in the church. Now, just like the Church of Scientology, everything is in their favor, everything. And screw you, the individual. In other words, you can get a beating in the church, you can be locked down, held in captivity, held in isolation, given rice and beans, never allowed to contact the outside world. You, you can, the church can do anything. But that, according to these new contracts, you sign a contract saying you will never, ever say anything negative about what happened to you or what happened inside the church. Chris Shelton, I just did a couple of videos, look look on this channel, a couple of videos Chris Shelton did. He signed them, he signed all of this. And he's spoken and spoken and spoken and spoken on video on all the blogs and message boards. There is no retaliation. These documents are a psych ops. Mentally, it imprisons you. I remember my beautiful boy, Alexander Gentsch, dead at 27. Alexander felt he couldn't tell me about his life in the church because they had done this psych ops, got him on video camera and made him sign that he could never, ever speak about what happened to him in the C organization. 
all favoring the church's good PR. In other words, the church feel they can actually get away with criminal acts within because they know they're doing things that are unlawful but you're not allowed to talk about it they're not worried to clean up their act they don't change their business model at all they're not even thinking of that they're thinking we'll just clamp it down and make sure that everybody in the Sea Org and in plus in all other organizations non-Sea Org no staff can whistle blow What's happening is that you are leaving the Sea Organization. Is that right? That's right. How many years have you been a member of the Sea Organization? 28 years. And you're doing this voluntarily? I am. No one has made any threats or, or, or forced you to do anything? Not at all whatsoever. Can you tell me what position you've held in FSO? Sure. I, um, I was the head of FSO, the captain of FSO, for 17 years, and was that, that was the highest position? Yeah. And we then sent notices for the deposition of Tommy Davis, who lives in Austin now, and uh, was the former spokesperson for the church. He was sent by the church to Texas for uh, various assignments that's relevant to the special appearance. We served him with a subpoena and not noticed the depositions at about the same time because we were quite confident that if we discussed this with them in advance, Tommy Davis would um, go off on a trip to Tahiti or somewhere, and we would never get him subpoenaed. Uh, he's not a friendly witness. The church will never give you a copy of what you sign. You don't remember pages and pages. It's fine print you sign away. You never get a copy, and the church never say, would you like to run this by your own lawyer? Never, never. No lawyer sees this. It's written by church lawyers for the church.